clairvoyant I am because I am clairvoyant. I'm just going to light my incense. Okay. And clear my energy space. I hope everybody's having a great evening. Wow, I got some messages to share with you guys. Oh my goodness. And I need a new incense holder because mom is pretty shitty. <laughs> So, if you know any good ones or anywhere I can get a good one, please comment down below. <laughs> but anyway, when I was in my prayer room this morning, okay, the Lord gave me a verse and I'm going to go over it. And He gave me a beautiful vision and I'm going to go over it, okay? So, He gave me Isaiah 1 16. Wash and make yourself clean. Take your evil deed out of my sight. Stop doing wrong okay gosh it's powerful but anyway like i said when i was in my prayer room this morning okay the lord gave me a vision of a hot air balloon okay and this thing is just so huge you know and in the basket there was a couple there was a man and a woman inside the basket okay and you know it was just going up and up and it was being controlled by the hot air you know the fire was just shooting up blazing you know going wild and just kept going up and up and going off into the distance okay but when i went into a little bit deeper with my meditation i realized that the couple that was in the basket was soulmates or twin flames okay and what was controlling them was a dark karmic energy okay so <clears throat> when i was in there getting my channeling and doing my downloads and everything and collecting all my thoughts now this is all going out to the collective so i don't know who this is for okay but i can tell you when soulmates are separated or twin flames are separated okay um the karmic can do things to the person that they're with, okay? Um, deceptive things, okay? So, this is just what I'm picking up, okay? Now, we're still in Mercury retrograde. That's why I can't get my words out correctly. And, of course, the devil's trying to shut me up, but the devil don't own the duct tape. So, I'm going to rip that duct tape off and throw it away, okay? Now, Venus has gone direct now. Venus retrogrades over. Venus has gone back direct. So, um, Venus will be in Capricorn until March the 6th. Yeah, March the 6th. Venus will be in Capricorn energy. So, this is the best time to level up. Just like the beautiful, majestic, hot air balloon that I saw. Okay, um, time to set goals. New time for love and everything, what have you, you know, it's the best time, okay, while Venus is in Capricorn. But anyway, um, so when I was in there picking up all this lustful, devilish energies, okay, that this person is doing to control this person to keep them trapped with them in their dark space or their dark energy, wow, um, this person is doing spells, okay, to keep uh, this person separate from their true love, you know, from their loved one, from their twin flame, from their soulmate, okay? Um, so this person is to toxic and this person is narcissistic was the energies that I was uh, receiving, okay? They're in a dark place. Um, they're full of burdens and problematic and they're full of um, obsessions and compulsive disorders and they lie and they cheat and um, they steal and they try to control and manipulate and they're doing spell work to keep that person like in a lustful energy, like a sexual lustful energy. Um, like a, it's almost like a fatal attraction or um, an erotic attraction where they're trying to control them with their uh, sexual desires and their thoughts and all that. That's why my video is entitled this today. But this person has um, all this um, 
this karmic has all this bad sexual energy around them. It's just full of lust. There's no love there. Um, if there is any passion, it's all deep, dark, um, evil type of energy, lustful, devilish type of energy that is what I was picking up when I was in there, okay? I had to actually come out of there for a while. You guys take a break and, you know, I got kind of dizzy, kind of lightheaded, and I felt kind of nauseous, so I had to take a break a little bit, and, um, but I went right back in there <laughs> as bad as I wanted to eat, because I tell you what, sometimes when I'm doing the energy reading or the energy work, um, I get really hungry, because <laughs> it just takes all of my energy out of me, but yeah, um, this person has a lustful appetite, and this person is going to uh, self-destruct, self-sabotage their, their self, their, their relationship that they're in, okay? But yeah, we're going to go over um, the symptoms, okay? Um, if someone has put a hex or a sex spell on you, or this could be the, from the karmic, because sometimes these spells can backfire and nothing can happen to you. It'll all backfire on them. If, especially if you're walking uh, spiritually uh, or if you're on a spiritual path or a journey or you know you're in God's army, nothing's going to happen to you. So don't freak out, okay? But if you see someone going through this, you're going to know that's the karmic, okay? Man or woman. So I'm going to give you the symptoms, okay? The first symptom is dry mouth, uh, mouth sores or dry lips, okay? Because these spells, um, these sex spells will cause your saliva, um, it'll like take the energy out. It'll, it'll uh, make them be become like real dry in the mouth and because that karmic is sucking that energy out, you know, that sex um, spell that they've put on you or not you but you know whoever <laughs> um yeah that'll suck all that uh, saliva right out and it causes dry mouth mouth sores and dry lips so that's number one number two is boils angry boils that come up just out of nowhere you know anywhere on that body i mean uh, especially around their private areas i hate to say but yeah if they have boils yeah they're, they're doing sex spells, hex spells, and it's backfiring on their ass, okay? Uh, number three is accidental skin burns. Now, this can be from, you know, you accidentally burning yourself. I'm talking about a lot. I'm not talking about just one or two, okay? Because everybody's going to comment down below and be like, oh my goodness, I burnt myself. No, 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 no. I'm talking about, you know, a, a series of burns, okay? Um... Or a chemical burn, you know, from cl uh, cleaning supplies or cleaning products. Chemical burns on the skin or right through here. This section right through here. Okay. Um, also, overwhelming fears. Okay. Or, um, that's number four. Overwhelming fears or uh, feelings of depression that, um comes on strong, okay? Just comes out of nowhere. You don't know why you're feeling this way or anything. And um, number five is extreme mood swings, okay? Um, so you have no idea. You just, you got moody and uh, excessive moodiness and you don't know why that you're feeling this way. You know, medicine's not responding or anything. So, what are we going to do about it, okay? I'm going to give you some tips on what to do if this happens to you or you know somebody that is with a karmic and this is happening and it's backfiring on their ass, okay? So, the first thing you want to do is um, pray powerful prayers, okay, to destroy witchcraft and witchcraft attacks against you or your family or your loved ones you know, your children, okay? You want to put your full armor of God on and do these powerful uh, protection spell, um, removal spare, spell. See, I can't even talk right. <laughs> um, powerful prayers to remove the witchcraft or destroy the witchcraft. 
And you also want to um, do a cleansing bath. Now, a cleansing bath is one tablespoon of sea salt, okay, and one tablespoon of Epsom salt. And just in a hot tub, you know, put the mix in there and make sure it's all, you know, dissolved real good. And then just get in there and soak. And this will cleanse all the negative energies away from you and your body. And, and you'll feel so much better. It cleanses your aura. So, but yeah, I just wanted to bring this to somebody today. And like I said, this is for the collective. So, take it how it resonates. We're all a collective. We're all one we're all connected but i love you guys so much if you find it in your heart to subscribe to me please do so by hitting the subscribe please hit the bell so you'll know every time that i upload and hit the like hit the share but i love you guys so much and i will be here tomorrow peace